Hey, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and today we're going to take a look at the Lumentop TD-15X. Showed you the TD-15 not too long ago. That was actually, just came out a few months ago, and it had a crazy 420 lumens that it put out. This one's putting out 620 lumens. So it's using that new Cree XML LED for even more output. A little bit larger LED, so the throw is uh, still pretty good, but uh, you get slightly better throw using the TD-15, so go for that one if you like the throw. Uh, we'll show you that a little bit later in the video. So as you can see, physically the same as the TD-15, LED is different, that's the big difference. The stuff that comes with it, you have a holster, nice holster. This ring right here is if you want to remove the anti-roll or the, uh, the combat grit ring, you can remove that, put this on there, uh, so you have a more smooth appearance. You can also get rid of the clip if you want to get rid of that. Spare parts, you have spare O-rings, spare tail switch cover. So you can replace that. Some other stuff on the inside. This is an extension tube, so you can put that on there, and it'll take two 18500s or three CR123s. You can actually put another one on there, actually as many as you want. Um, this will take up to four cells, so you can put up to four 18650s on there if you really wanted to. That'll give you a pretty crazy battery life. Um, same output, but uh, great battery life. Lanyard comes with it. All the standard accessories, plus a couple extra. So let's set that to the side. And the default form factor is powered by either two CR123s or an 18650. So we're going to open it up, put an 18650 in there, show you how this thing works. As you can see on there, they do some really nice touches. Square threads, nice durable threads, operate really well. Double O rings, so you have two O rings on there, and you have that on both ends. Stainless steel on both ends to help protect it from uh, drops so you don't have to worry about damaging the aluminum. A little bit of scalloping on the bezel so you can use it as a strike bezel. Another nice feature of that is when it's turned on, you set it down, you can tell that it's turned on. Pretty aggressive fins on there, uh, really good for the heat sinking. You don't have to worry about too much about this one overheating. Of course, you leave it on in, in hot, humid conditions, it can't overheat, so uh, you just want to watch. Same with any, any other high power flashlight, you want to watch the temperature of it, don't let it overheat. Smooth reflector on there, there's that XML LED down in there. Alright, let's show you the operation of it. So the switch on the back, lightly press it, you have momentary activation, click it all the way and it'll stay on for you. As long as you're just using the switch on the back, it's going to come on into the same mode, not switch modes on you. If you do want to switch modes, what you do is loosen and tighten the head. And each time you do that, it's going to switch between the modes. And what you have are three different brightnesses and then strobe. You can keep on doing that to switch between the three. And it'll remember the last one that you had it uh, on in. If you turn it off and then turn it back on. So you have reliable operation that won't change modes on you until you try to change modes. So that is the Lumatop TD-15X. We're going to take it outside, compare it to the Maglite, and we're going to take the regular TD-15 as well just so you can see the difference in the beam between the two. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're out here in my backyard with the two TD-15 versions, and we're gonna be comparing them to the big 40 mag light that I always use. So let's go ahead and give that mag light a shot first, see how it does. There's my house, about 50 yards away. The tree in the front yard that's 100 yards away. Can't really make anything out on the tree with the, uh, with the mag light. So let's try those lumen tops. Here is the R5 version first, we're going to give it a shot first, and this is max brightness. As you can see, you make out all the details on the tree, all the branches, all the pine needles that uh, are so much fun to rake up. <laughs> we'll zoom in on a little bit just so you can see how well it makes out the details even at 100 yards. Obviously it can go a lot further than that with no problem at all. So that is the R5 version, let's try the XML version. There you go. Even more light coming out of that one. So uh, relatively comparable in terms of throw to the other one. Um, it's not going to be quite as concentrated, but as you can see, it lights up a larger area at once. So basically that whole tree is lit up at once, even 100 yards away. Pretty impressive. I'll shine that around a little bit, just so you can get an idea of how it does. And then let's do them side by side. So XML on the left, R5 on the right. Shine them around, as you can tell. R5 is a little bit more concentrated, but you're lighting up more at once with the XML version. I 
So there you go. That is the TD-15. We've got the R5 version here and the new XML version. If you like them, you can get them from us at goinggear.com. If you like the video, be sure to subscribe. We're putting out new ones all the time. If you have any questions or comments about any of these lights or any of the other stuff we talk about, uh, be sure to drop us a line in the comments or uh, you can reach us at goinggear.com or you do have a retail store or we do have, do have a retail store if you'd like to talk on the phone.